Starting a business in seven days is absolutely possible. And if you have the mindset and the steps to do it, you can go right ahead. Here, I will show you the steps of starting a business and how to go about from it and the things that you need to do to catch that attention and gain your audience. There's a first time for everything, so go ahead and press that like button to get started. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to show more content like this and to go ahead and support this channel as well. Thank you. So the first step that you would have to take is knowing what type of business you want to start, what type of business you want to go for. That is the very first thing that you absolutely must know. What type of business are you trying to get into? What is it that you're interested in? What is it that is trending? And what is it that you really want to invest your time in? Keep in mind, it's really important to do things that you want to do and that you like to do because if you don't do things that you like to do, in reality, it's not fun and you're not going to enjoy what you're doing. So I would advise to do something that you like. But in reality, when it comes down to selling, business is basically what is trending, what is on demand, what is that people do like. So if you're really, really into this and really serious about having your own online business, I would say go ahead and research and do some searching on what styles are trending and currently really in style during this season. What do people like? What are people looking for? What are people seeking? And what is it that is currently trending during this time and this season? And that is definitely something that you want to look for. So know the type of business that you want to start. Make sure that it's something that you like, but that is also trending at the same time. Because if you do something that is not currently trending, I will say you're not going to gain that much attention or that much popularity and audience gain. So once you know what type of business you want to start, go ahead and notate that and make sure that you know exactly what is it, your niche. The next step would be create your social account. So depending if you already have a social account, if you have a large following, it comes down to if you want to use your own personal account or if you want to use a separate account for social media to gain attention, to gain more followers and to gain more recognition. It is completely up to you if you want to go ahead and create a new account or start from scratch. It is completely up to you if you want to start a new account or use the one that you currently have. If you have a large following, it is way better for you um, because you have an audience to feed and you can show off whatever it is that your type of business is. So I would say either create a new account or go with the one that you currently have. Why are we creating an account for social media? Well, in reality, it comes down to more attention, more followers, more likings, and like-minded people to follow you on what is your business type. Let's say you want to do crystals as your business type because there's a lot of spiritual people out there, a lot of people that like healing, a lot of people that are into spirituality and like crystals for healing and whatever other purpose they need it. So for the people that are into spirituality and crystals and things like that, they're more likely to follow you. So creating that kind of social account for what type of business you're doing definitely counts either for your current account or for the new one that you're currently doing because you're going to use that to leverage, to bring awareness and to raise your brand. You can use anything from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to TikTok, whatever it is that you want. Whatever account is easier for you, whatever account is more fun for you or that you're more familiar with. The next step would be brand awareness. How do you do this? You basically tell a story either on your reel, um, on your story on Instagram, whether it's Twitter, whatever social media account you want to start or begin with, your main target, let's say TikTok, because a lot of people like TikTok, a lot of people are on TikTok, and that can be like the main platform. So let's say on TikTok, you can create a video about crystal healing how many crystals you have what type of crystals you have what do they mean you can tell your story how you started and how people can use it and what they do and what they're about and that calls attention you can create a blog if you're into writing and you like things like that you can go ahead and definitely create a blog um talk about it give people more details and bring them to your website that way as well have pictures and images of your crystals um, maybe one by one or a lot of them show people that it is legit um, hold it in your hand show them that you know what type of styles you have and what they mean and that definitely brings brand awareness 
and it's not only for Instagram, you could use it for TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll go ahead and put it down in the description below. The next step would be have a target audience. So know your audience. What type of audience are you seeking? What type of audience are you looking for? Are you looking for moms? Are you looking for business owners? Are you looking for spiritual people? Um, are you looking for healers or people that are just simply into crystals? Go ahead and look for that target audience that you want to target and go ahead and aim for them. Because let's be real, if somebody that is into fashion, um, they're not going to go ahead and look for things on Instagram about spirituality, unless it's something that they're interested in as well. So the thing is, you basically have to have like-minded people that do like the things that you like as well, and that are looking and interested in things that you are currently doing, which is your business type. So let's say you're also looking for people ages 25 to 35. Um, that's definitely a target that you want to aim for or maybe, I don't know, 18 to 25. Then go ahead and aim for that kind of target and look for what they like um, and do things in their liking as well. Because if you don't have a target audience, then you can't aim for the type of people or the target audience that you're basically trying to aim for. The ones that are going to buy, the ones that are looking for the same thing that you like, the ones that are interested in your type of business. The next step would be advertising. So advertising is definitely optional. It's something that you know you can do if you want to, if you have the money, or if you simply want to go ahead and give it a try. Um, I would say go ahead and advertise because it also gains attention and more liking when it comes down to what business type you're trying to aim for. Advertising can gain traffic, advertising can definitely gain more attention and more audience for you and your website. So it's definitely something that you might want to go ahead and look into because it definitely helps boost your website as well. Advertising can definitely help your business grow if you know exactly how to properly do it. There's a lot of businesses out there that help when it comes to advertising or just people in general that are more than likely, you know, able to help when it comes to advertising. Um, there's also social media assistance um, programs out there that you can go ahead and look into or even social media assistants or people that are interested in the social media field and interested in helping your business grow. So advertising is also another way or another step that you can take, but it's definitely optional if you want to go ahead and take that route to gain more attention and more audience and more traffic. Last but not least, the next step would be creating a website. So the time has come for you to decide to create a website. Now you could choose anywhere from Wix to GoDaddy to Shopify to Weebly to Google and Reality is your option. You could do your research on all of these website builders and they are individually rated and you can go ahead and choose according to your taste. So creating a website is definitely important because you already have your business type, you have the social accounts, you have the brand awareness, um, you know what to advertise, you have your target, and now you have your website. So you have everything in one. So you're sure of what you're doing and you're sure of what you're getting yourself into. Now I was using the crystal example. So let's say the business is about crystals. So you can go ahead and start your brand from there. So now that you created your social accounts, you have brand awareness, and you have your target audience, you can go ahead and move your audience to your website. So how do you do this? By advertisement or by social post or by interacting with them on social media. Whether it's you already have your own account on Instagram and you have a large following or you already have your audience and people that bond with you, people that interact with you, you can go ahead and feel free to send them to your website. Why? Because they have that trust in you, because they know they can count on you. They believe your word and they know what you're saying is legit. Once you have a trusted audience, it definitely makes things so much easier. So having a website makes everything so much easier because you can basically set up your website to be connected to Instagram or you can have your website connected to Facebook. You can manage it pretty much from all of these social platforms and then 
get your audience to move over and buy from your store and since you're already showing them your things on your social accounts like the crystals they have more trust in you because they know it's real and they know you know it's legit and not only that they know they can trust you because they know that it's something that you're doing so these are the simple steps of starting and creating your online business so if you made it this far to this video please go ahead and comment a blue heart i would really appreciate that thank you so much i truly appreciate it so these are the simple steps of creating an online business this definitely shows me that you've been here this whole time through the video and that you are definitely supporting this channel i appreciate you so much i want to thank you so much for your love and support until next time bye